over here and thank you for going to the floor and seeing the, the uh, products that Vertiv is bringing in to disrupt the market. And we've also cut down the program schedule a little bit so that we can finish by the earlier closing time itself. So we, what we want is more interaction, okay? So I will just take 15 minutes. And it's 15 minutes I want to tell you about the world global digital landscape, the India-specific digital landscape, okay? So I'll spend a little time on that. And then I want to tell you a little bit about the Vertiv's rationale for setting up this plant in Chakan because we had the opportunity or we had the offer to go to China, to Vietnam, to Czechoslovakia, or to Mexico. But where to set up the plant in India? And there's a lot of investment rationale behind it. So I won't explain that a little bit. And a little bit about Vertu. And then Alok will come and talk a little bit about details about this factory over here. Okay. Okay, so the first question is to just get all of you awake from a fantastic lunch that we had here. So what is this? What is this big, big number that you see here? Any guesses? This big number, 180 multiplied by 10 to the power of 21. What is this big number and does it ring a bell? <laughs> okay, thank you very much. So that's a group of people here who have answered this question. So that's the total what is known as the data sphere, okay? So all the connected devices globally by 2025, you will reach 180 zettabytes of data. So that's the size of the entire data sphere as per IDC. And 50% of, of this data that you see here is going to be produced and consumed in this 24, 25 year, which means in one year, it's going to double. And the average, and this number was sub something like 30 zettabytes in 2018. So it's like growing at a cager of 60, 65 percentage. So that's what the industry, all of us here are in. Okay, so let's, uh, let's give ourselves a big clap for this industry, because this industry is going to grow at this pace at least for the next 10 years. So we are in the right market, not only just Vertiv, all our customers, consultants, partners, everybody here, we are in the right market space. We are in the fastest growing market globally. Okay, a little view from the world, okay? So I'll quickly go through all this. So there are 8 billion people globally. Okay, and 57% of the people in the globe are right now staying in urban locations. And that's a trend that's catching up globally. Even in India, there's a lot of urbanization that's happening. 50 crore people in India will migrate from tier two, tier three cities to tier one cities in, in the next 30 to 35 years. So that's a huge challenge for planners globally. 68% of the population now have unique, they've got smartphones and approximately 64% of the global population are internet users, and 59% are active social media users. So that's the, the world view of the entire population and how much of that is connected to the data. And no wonder $180 trillion, 180 zettabytes, that's, that's just going to be exceeded. Okay, so out of the total population, just this, this data is all for just one year. Just in one year, 6.7 crore people got added to the total population of the world. So the world population is still increasing, and 6.7 crore people globally got added. 16.8 crore people, the numbers there are all in millions, but Hindustan mein hum log crore or lakh, it gets, you know, we, we, get, we understand it better. So 16.8 crore people got added to unique mobile phone users. 9.8 crore people got added to internet users. And 13.7 crore people got it to, added to active social media users. So that's the adoption of technology. And that's the world that we're working in. So definitely that means more density of power, more density of cooling, which means it's good for the business that Vertiv and all of us are into. So this is a chart which shows, a McKinsey chart, which shows the global tech investment. So, in short, this chart is a little complicated, but a chart says a trillion dollars in the last three years has gone, in the last four years has gone into tech investments. So tech investments means mobility technology, drone, space, AI, ML, generative AI, and all that. So a trillion dollars of investment has gone into, into tech investments globally, which is again a good thing. 
So Vertiv did a research because Vertiv is also growing. So we did six point, we are doing six point nine billion dollars this year, and we want to continue to grow. And how do we grow? And what are the technology trends that we need to follow? And people who follow to Vertiv stock. So Vertiv stock from Jan 23 till December 23 has has multiplied the NYSE by 269 percentage. That is simply because we are in the right market space. So 269 percentage in the NYSE. So that's the that's the growth of the Vertiv stock. So Vertiv looked at the big trends. So what are the big trends that we need to follow, and where do we invest? And the biggest trends that we see is AI and Gen AI. So AI and Gen AI is like the buzzword of the hour, the buzzword of the day, and everybody we need to we, we need to catch that. So just recently, it's a small lighter joke. So uh, uh, it's, it's, it's actually an incident. So around a month ago, I was in Kochi for a conference, and then there was a party where I met some corporate guys like this, and then we had a discussion. And they, that guy is a little bit an astrologer. So he can tell, he, he asked me my name, he asked me my date of birth, he asked me my place of birth. He said, "This is what your family background is. You are not living in your home state, Kerala, but you have moved somewhere much northern of that." And he almost told all my past so accurately. I was surprised, but I just asked him. Past to ho gaya, jo ho gaya, ho gaya. But what's my future? What should I focus on in future? He said AI and Gen AI. Okay, so that's what the future is. So all of us here, we need to follow the big trends. AI and Gen AI is the trend. Just like industrialization was the trend, maybe 20 years, 30 years ago. Today, all the investments are going to happen in this field. There's a lot of data flowing around in the world, and we need to leverage and capitalize on this. The next one is energy storage alternatives, because India wants to become uh, a, a global leader when it comes to energy, and we've got a huge import bill and all that. So, energy storage alternatives is, 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 a, is a big technology that, that Vertiv is looking at. The third one is enterprises prioritizing flexibility. Because some time back, four years ago, everybody was talking cloud and cloud. But then today, it's not just cloud. The cloud is there, the hyperscale is there, on-prem is there, and there are also edge data centers. So that's the big. So all of these trends and all of these will coexist in this market because the data sphere that we're talking about is huge. And the last one that I want to talk about is security hurdles. So as in more of data is flowing around and then everybody's data is on the cloud these days there's a lot of security challenges that we are going to see the biggest disruptions that we are going to see in the next one day will be security challenges of how to how cyber attacks and all that what you can see in the data sphere i want to take a little time and talk specifically about bharat because a lot of this was come in the press you would have read about it but this is all forming the backdrop and and and, and the Background for Vertiv's investment in Chakin. Okay, so what I want to tell you is a record 48 billion transactions over UPI. That's what India has done, and India has done the biggest thing. So what India has done in 2015 to 2017 period, just in two years, India has added 55 crore bank accounts. Never been done before in any part of the world. 55 crore bank accounts opened in two years flat. Okay, and all that was based not a KYC and all that. Everything is based on your thought, on your Aadhaar. So the Aadhaar was the first layer. So there was Aadhaar, and then there was that is the Jandan Yojana. Then there was Aadhaar, and then it was all connected to the mobile phone. So with this KYC was so easy. 55 crore bank accounts and 55 crore bank accounts. Like every two bank accounts that was opened globally in the 2015-2017 time frame was in Bharat. So that's what Bharat has done, and it's seven times more than what the combined digital payments of United States, UK, France, Germany, and 11 times just more than UK. And we all like it. It's four times bigger than China. Okay, so that's what the whole, uh, the, the 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 entire backdrop of of the digital space that we are into and digital transactions. So you can imagine. So uh, like earlier, we wanted, we wanted to start an LIC policy. How much time does it take? But you can imagine on this UPI platform, which is a public interest network, open source, open AI, open uh, API. Anybody can connect to that. Write code, connect to that. All the banks are connected, and we have these companies like uh, 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 Mobi Quick and Pine Lab. So what are they doing? They know your digital transaction history. All of our transaction history is known to them. They're using that data to give you cashless credit transaction. So that's what Pine Labs and Mobi Quick is doing. Okay, and then. The next revolution in the country. I'm I'm spending a little time on it because it's important to know that we are in the most opportune moment in this country right now. 
okay every country that is on the global number 1 number 2 number 3 have all gone through this phase of 30 years of growth at 9 to 10% gdp growth and india is right now in that space where we can do that for the next 30 years okay so there are these companies like zeroda there is grow there is upstock so what did they do they are all in the upi interface they have connected everybody to the stock market so the stock market is no more a monopoly of the people living in cities but the stock market is now 35% of the retail transactions that happen in the stock market are from rural india and that is powered by zeroda it is by grow and there is upstock and there are companies like digit and there is this company uh, digit and aco okay so they provide the insurance on the fly you can drive from here to the airport on the on on, on the way in, in in 10 minutes you give all the details you'll get an insurance insurance done just remember going to the life insurance corporation's office all the paper everything is done. just about covid vaccines all is on the same pil the public interest layer platform that you have built go to the united states go to singapore it's all paperwork whereas we in this country have done 220 crores of covid vaccinations completely digital okay so that's what we have done in india so the key trends shaping bharat more of internet being used in the villages by 2027 india will be the third largest economy just in the last 5 years india has moved from 10 to 5 and in the next 4 to 5 years mark my words that's what this country is into and all of us here can contribute to that if you're already growing at 12% grow at 24% because that will help the country overall grow at the overall 10% which is what the the niti aayog is right now working on and 40 crore indians will get into urbanization by 2050 and india has more digital transactions that i told you earlier itself more than china more than united states more than uk europe and all of the european countries put together so this is a snapshot of what i talked all along so 1.4 billion with a unique identity so aadhaar is the platform the basic thing and then number 2 in mobile phone users 50 crore people 50, 500 million people in the formal banking system and just see that that is about gem so how many of you work with gem here the government e marketplace so 24 billion is the total value of the mercantis through gem and i I told a lot of names of startups here grow upstart mobi quick this is the reason for that a lot of our partners here work with these startups when they are in the very initial stage when they're looking for funds when they want somebody to give them credit when they're looking for investors and if they become a unicorn there are 100 plus unicorns in the country right now and if they become a unicorn unicorn they become loyal to you throughout their entire lifespan of their company okay so we have partners here like mr malik from bangalore mr harish gada from mumbai akash from mumbai pradeep sir from raipur the reason is why am i telling these four names is because they have been with the vertive journey for 20 plus years they have been with emerson network power and then with vertive and they very long standing partners they have seen the value proposition of working with us it it's, it's a win win for both of us so it's it's they started with some small and micro ups business but now today they're all selling a lot of products and solution technology for the ai ml and mainly to startups also that's very important because as they grow this, we, we grow along with the startups a little bit about indian ecosystem when we started what we called a startup india stand up india in 2015 hardly 2015 okay there were hardly 100 startups today india has the it's number 3 in the world in terms of the startups there are 110000 startups in this country and 100 of them are unicorns give a big clap for our country 100 plus unicorns in this country and these are the ones if you work with them these are the ones that will take india to the 10% of gdp growth for the next 30 years and if we can do that we can lift the entire country from poverty so what our 63 64 trillion dollars of equivalent which the britishers took out from this country we will get back to that pinnacle of glory what they call as a param vaibhavam we will get back because it is it is we are destined to do that okay so this is what it is i've just tried to show on the slide here if we grow at 
So 6% growth rate, India from current $3.4 trillion by 2050 will become $13 trillion. But if you grow at 8%, we want to become, we'll become $22.8 trillion. And if you're at 10% growth rate, India will become a $37 trillion economy by 2050. And the bigger thing is, right now India's per capita is around $2,000 per annum per person. It can become $25,000 in 2050 if India grows at 10%. Now, why am I saying this? It's because it's an opportunity. It's for Vertiv. And Vertiv has realized it. That's why we are in Chakan. I want all of us here to realize it. If you're growing at 8%, grow at 16%. If you're growing at 12%, grow at 24% because it's going to help India's ultimate ambition of lifting our entire country from poverty to prosperity with $25,000 and $37, $38 trillion of, of national GDP. Okay, so what are the technologies that will drive this future growth? It's those big technologies that India is working on. Some of them are already commercialized. Some of them are in the, in the research state. So Vertu is also working with a lot of IITs, a lot of uh, companies like CDAC, some companies like DRDO and ISRO and all that for, for some of these technologies, some of the research labs in the country. So there's quantum computing, there's artificial intelligence, there is blockchain, virtual reality, biotechnology, green hydrogen, big thing. Mark my words, green hydrogen is a big thing. Because right now, hydrogen, green hydrogen is four and a half to five dollars per ton, per, per, uh, per kilogram. But if you can get to do less than a dollar per kilogram, and India and Saudi Arabia, the two countries in the world, which have that kind of a, of, of, of a landscape with such a big seafront that we can actually crack using electrolysis, seawater, and we can convert that into, we can convert that into energy, and that is big. So industry disruptive trends, as I said earlier, generative AI, cybersecurity, AR, VR, metaverse, establishing digital trust, digital twin, screen products, and all that. These are all the big technologies, the big trends where Vertiv is in, and we want all of our stakeholders, partners to be with us in this journey. Okay, so Gen AI remains the top pick. So if you are, if you are not an AI first company, we will be disrupted. We will be non-existent in 20 years time. So we need to catch onto the bus quickly. A little bit about Vertiv, because I'm not going to talk about the plan. The plan, we've already seen the plan in detail. So Vertiv this year will end up with $6.9 billion. That will be what our global revenues will be. We've got 27,000 employees globally, 22 factories globally, 3,000 final plus service engineers. We serve the infrastructure solutions, rack solution space. We are 50 years in the industry with our past legacy of Emerson and Libert and all the 50 years industry. We have 20 years of average customer relationship. And I just said four names right now. 20 years of partnership. Number one in thermal management. Number one, we've just, this, is a, this is just a cooling factory, a thermal management factory, but we've got a very large portfolio of power products, they've got a, which, which is what we do in Ambarnath and in our other factory in, in, in Pune. And uh, we are also into the IT management space. So we also help customers manage the IT solutions. And a little bit about Vertu, where our money is going to come from. So this is what, so no wonder, you know, the stock markets is all about not just the numbers, but a story much ahead of the numbers. So we are in that kind of a market, wherein we see that the market size that we operate, the Vertu operates in a market, the total market size is around $45 billion. $17 billion of Vertu's business, the market size is, is, in, the, is, is in the cloud and co-location hyperscale. $16.5 billion is in the enterprise and seven and a half billion communication networks, four and a half billion. So what I'm seeing showing here is our growth rate. Which is, this is what our CEO Giordano showed it to uh, some of our customers when he was yesterday, here yesterday. So this is the kind of growth rates that we see in these markets. And Vertiv is, is I would say, we are in the right space, the right time, and we are in Bharat. Now is the opportunity for Bharat. Now is the opportunity for us to capture power. Now is the opportunity for the number one player in the market, which we already are, and to maintain that, and thank you customers. You've tried to put a logo of some of the customers here who are behind us in this journey. You trust us, we will deliver to you solutions from this plan to ensure that we are with you in the AI, ML, and the, the, the journey, the disruptive journey forward. Thank you very much. This was my last slide. I've now got Alok who will come over here to, to tell you five to seven minutes about what this factory is all about and that, that's what the next end of flow is. Thank you very, very much for this patient hearing.